Ciao, sono Andrea Pirlo e questa settimana guardate MLS. Kaylin, you're so A-list. The life of Pirlo. You. Hanging yeah. out with Pirlo. My goodness. We're basically best friends. Shout out to Andrea. <laughs> uh, I learned a little Italian as nice. well. Yeah, it was cool. Nice. Have you seen my music video with him? I did see your music video. Yeah, we dropped a new music video, mm -hmm. the two of us together. It was um, very impressive. It was his idea. Bravo. So it was his vision. If you haven't seen it, you should follow Kaylin on Twitter at Kaylin Carr. You can watch the whole thing there. Yeah. Um, and so remember last week we had a little message for you from Landon Donovan. Yeah. This week that was we have great. another surprise. Another one. So you're gonna want to tune in for the entire episode. Wait, is, is this one Don't nicer? Don't want to miss it. I'm not. I, I'm. I'm not, not gonna, gonna fall I'm for this again. This clues. is not. I'm not. No I told clues. myself I wouldn't let myself. Get excited. It's all about surprises, Kaylin. Um, let's okay, it. let's go back to your, your bestie. Yeah. Andrea Rough Pirlo and NYCFC. Rough and day. Squad. They get shellacked by the Red Bulls, seven to nothing. Um, not much to say about this one, but NYCFC Patrick Vieira had this to say about his team's performance after the match. Of course, he's a step back, but um, like we said in football, it's always good to lose one game seven nil, then seven games one nil. We didn't turn up today, and uh, and it's never easy to concede seven goals against um, in in a derby matches, especially in the derby games. If you don't match the desire and the the comp competitiveness of the opposition team. All right, Kaylin. So your team loses by a touchdown, which is essentially what <laughs> yeah. happened here. How do you bounce back from this? <laughs> it's. I was uh, have, you, have you ever been <laughs> no. on a team that lost that? No, that no. I, actually, I coached an uh, uh, under-13 boys okay. team in Chicago when yeah. I was there. We used to routinely lose 7-0. Oh, yeah, it was tough to go face the press after uh -huh. that. Uh, no, this, <laughs> this was unlike anything I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, I think some of it comes down to just competing. Mm -hmm. The Red Bulls were up for it from the get-go. Jax McCarty, uh, a huge leadership performance from him. Mm -hmm. He set the tone early. Just a bit of desire. He wanted it more than the other guys in right. the box. Um, but I think some of it also comes down to tactics. Uh -huh. You know, they, the players bear responsibility and ICFC, but I actually think the manager needs to make some changes. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, they're a bit naive, trying to commit to this vision of playing out of the back consistently. Yeah. And I don't, it sounds nice, it's a nice sound bite, it's a nice sure. spirit. That field is teeny mm -hmm. in, at, at uh, Yankee Stadium. And Red Bulls, you know, they play a high press system. Yeah. So this was just a bad matchup from the get go. Some of these turnovers, I just couldn't believe my eyes that they just kept insisting down 3 0, 4 0, 5 0. They kept playing out of the back. And committing to a vision is one thing, but I want results. Yeah. You know, and they put themselves in some bad positions, lost balls in bad spots. And credit to the Red Bulls, they were ready for this one, had a much better game plan. So when you say credit to the Red Bulls, uh, I mean, they scored obviously seven goals. Five different guys found the back of the net. Yeah. Four goals from, Wait a minute. from Do you the corner kick. Do you what? hear that? What? Oh, no. Is that a Andrea Pirlo? Oh. Is that my ringtone for Andrea? Is he calling? No? OK. That's another bicycle kick alert. Uh, up for Briant up as well. Right. Phillips, the overhead is in. Absolutely sensational. What an exclamation point to a dominating first half. What a finish from Bradley Wright Phillips. <sighs> You've I know you love those. Uh, they're, they're, they're fun. They yeah. just, they're... You got to bust them out. Oh, Kaylin, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Well, Axel Schuberg scored the lone goal for the Rapids as Colorado defeated the Sounders 1-0 in Seattle. The Rapids still sitting on top of the Western Conference with 27 points. And, Kaylin, we have talked about Jermaine Jones and that offense and how he has given them a spark. But how about that defense, huh? Yeah, Zach McMath, he deserves a lot of credit. And that back line, they're not only being resolute defensively, but they're contributing in the attack. Mm -hmm. I mean, on set pieces, this is one of the more dangerous teams in the league, just based on their sheer size. If you watch that goal, you can see Schuberg 6'7". Yeah, he's big dude. He doesn't even need to jump <laughs> for the goal. And he's getting a pick from a 6'5 guy, Bobby Burling. This team's size creates impossible matchup problems. And you look at it, I think, uh, you know, Seattle had no answers to far. Who, who do you have to mark all these guys? You've right. got Jermaine Jones, you've got um, Solignac, you've got Mark Birch's delivery was excellent on that one. Gashi, his service on set pieces is really dangerous. This team is, uh, they know how to win too. Late in games, they really lock it down. Well, Heineken Rivalry Week kicked off on Friday as the Philadelphia Union took down DC United in another 1-0 game as Richie Marquez scored the game winner in extra time. Um, the Union have now gone five games without a loss and they're sitting on top of the Eastern Conference. Kaylin, as the season 
progresses, how likely is it that the union are going to be able to kind of keep up this pace that they've established? I, I think they're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. I, I think, you know, obviously the East is, who knows, you yeah. know, NYCFC was in sec, they're right behind them with one point less. Sure. They just lost 7-0. Uh, it's tough to know who's going to do what, but I think they've been the most consistent team so far um, in the Eastern Conference. Jim Curtin really has these guys going. And did, did you hear that goal call? Oh by my the way? gosh! Let, let's play that. that. That was ridiculous. Is it still Damn. going? Is uh, it still uh, going? What Did was it I doing? Did it stop? Jeez. I didn't think it would ever end. I, I, that was Listen, the longest goal call. I don't think I could, even if I like yeah. train to like he, hold he, my breath that I long, I feel like I could he must that. be, uh, guys yeah. got mad skills. He oh, like goes to altitude, I think, to do All right, moving on. Um, well, the good news for San Jose, they scored twice. Unfortunately, one of those times was an own goal as the Cali Classico ended in a 1-1 draw. Kaylin, was this result more disappointing for the Galaxy or was it more positive for the Quakes? Definitely positive for the Quakes. I mean, for them to go down a goal um, with just under 10 minutes yeah. left, uh, credit to Dom Kinnear, he, he makes a great sub, immediately mm -hmm. doesn't take any time to react, puts in Chad Barrett, who fights to keep that ball alive. Good job, Chad. And uh, whips in a really deadly cross yeah. to Fatai Alashe. He gets the goal. A lot of people aren't really talking about this kid. He was called up to the national team January camp, wasn't able to participate due to an injury, mm -hmm. but he's a guy that U.S. fans will want to watch uh, moving forward. Now, there was plenty of other MLS action, which you were watching if you've subscribed to MLS Live, and if you haven't, I don't know what else to say other than go get it now so you don't miss the Kaká Talaren goal-scoring combo because it's so pretty. And, Kaylin, um, I just... I love your boy Kyle, mm -hmm. but the goal scoring celebration needs, needs some work. What do you mean? Needs some work. A little Just man saying. cuddling? I've never nah. heard anybody. Nah. Uh, those guys were fired up. It was, it was great to see. And that combination play to get into the box, obviously you're never going to question Kaka's vision. No. But he picks out Kyle on the back post. Kyle's young, but he's got excellent instincts in the back to be able to know he's on that back post. Um, they really needed this. They haven't mm -hmm. been great at home. This was a big result. Fun connection up front. All right, Jovinko took all eight of Toronto's shots in a scoreless draw with Columbus. Caleb. He's going to need to. <laughs> I mean, especially without Josie Altidore, yeah. the burden on him is even greater. Now, this team set themselves up on the road playing their first eight games in a good spot to go home, but found out once they got home that results weren't just going to come. Three points are not easy. Um, they'll be fine in the long run, but... They're in a little bit of a rough patch right now. All right, the Revs lost their first game at home, falling to Dallas 4-2. to two. Yeah, the Revs have given up more goals or tied for most goals in MLS right now. That's concerning. Um, but Dallas was great on the day. That little tikataka pass yeah. through from uh, Kellen that was, Acosta that was nifty. to Tesho, that, that was a, one of the best passes I've seen in MLS this year. Super pretty. All right, and Real Salt Lake beat Sporting Kansas City for the fourth consecutive time, 3-1, to one, Kalen. Yeah, Real Salt Lake has had this team's number. This is a rivalry as well. I didn't mm -hmm. quite make the cut, I guess, for Heineken Rivalry Week. But uh, I really like Yuram Sissian's play. That goal he scored where he uses his pace in behind, a mm -hmm. delicate little chipper to uh, over the top. That basically sealed the match for them. Um, this RSL team is tough. All right, and the one game we have yet to talk about from Heineken Rivalry Week saw Portland defeat Vancouver 4-2. to two. Kaylin, how big of a win was this for Portland? They needed it. Yeah, anytime these two teams play, yeah. it's, a, it's a big uh, match, of course. Vancouver has been playing great as of late. Mm -hmm. I think this is a small bump in the road for them. But Portland needed this one big. And Darlington Nagby, ah, that so free good. kick. That was so a thing good. of beauty. Yeah, U.S. fans will be excited, hoping to see that at Copa America. All right, guys. Well, some of your favorite MLSers are heading off to play with their national teams as we get set for Copa America. But there is still plenty of MLS action, which you can see on MLS Live starting Wednesday as Orlando will welcome the Union at 7.30 Eastern. Then on Friday, Unimas has D.C. United traveling to Kansas City to take on Sporting KC at 7 Eastern. There are eight. Yeah, that's right. Eight games on Saturday. And as I keep telling you guys, if you don't have MLS Live, there is no better time than now to get it so you don't miss any of this action. And the week wraps up on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern as Orlando travels to New York to face NYC FC, a game that you can see on ESPN. Kalen, which game are you looking forward to the most? 
Well, I, I always like seeing Orlando come to town to New York City, yeah. see a couple friends. So I'll probably go to that game. Um, but I think the best game of the weekend is going to be Colorado taking on Philadelphia Union. Mm -hmm. Those are two of the top teams two in MLS. First place teams. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to be watching that. Any predictions on that? Uh, I don't. Colorado is hard to bet yeah. right against right now, so I'd probably give them the edge. All right, Kaylin, we promised you another video message. You ready? Suzanne, for do this not one? break my heart again. I'll do my best. I can't let this happen. I'll Come do my on, best. Check I'm it fragile. Out. Check it out. Kaylin Carr, is that it? Yeah. Kaylin Carr, um, they have asked me to give you a little bit of advice as you go through this period of your life. I know that you're coming to the end of your career. I still hear that you're doing great things on the field, uh, and evidently you want to get into broadcasting. Uh, good looking, smart guy like you, I think there will be plenty of opportunities. So continue to play well, continue to do what you do so well on the field, and he still plays, right? He's done. Yeah. What does he do? works here in the studio. He does <laughs> TV? Broadcasting? Yeah. Oh. Well, I haven't seen anything that you've done, but the people here tell me that you're, you're, you're good. Good? You're adequate? Adequate's good, Kaylin. Adequate is good. So you work to get from adequate to maybe good, uh, acceptable, and, but that's a process. So congratulations mm -hmm. on uh, having a job after soccer. Wow, acceptable, adequate. That's, those one are day, my middle name. One day, yeah. Kaylin, you can, you can achieve Alexi Lawless status. In wow, Canada. this is like becoming pretty no, harsh I'm on sorry, me. I'm sorry, buddy, I'm sorry. It's all in good fun. Um, I like that he thought I, maybe I was still playing. That was hilarious. That's awesome. That was maybe little, I can like still I can make a comeback or convince a team that I'm still on a team. Well, what? Yeah, why just not? Like show up at just show up one of these like, games and just like. Just it out in your kit and be like, what, I'm ready. Stretching on the sideline, like put little, me in, coach. Put your helmet on. The helmet needs to be back in MLS. Let's start a campaign. Hashtag that. Bring back the helmet. Bring back the helmet. You can you can start by bringing it back on this, this show. This is padded, by the way. I'll let you. LAFC, if it sent me a, this is custom. Yeah, not it too is. hard. Come on. Sorry. It's got a fragile, <laughs> fragile noggin. Um, guys. Fragile heart, too. Guys. Come on, Alexi. Thank Thought you we so much for that. watching this week in MLS. Um, as always, let us know your thoughts, your comments. Um, Somebody say something nice to me, please. Can I get some re some encouragement? Yeah. Something. Yeah. Let's I feel let's, like I'm, let's uh, show let's show Kaylin some love, guys. Uh, break me down. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. We'll see you real soon. You gotta build me back up. Too, oh, now. really? Come on. I'll be okay.